Okay, this is the most, I think, the most random video and the quickest video that I would have ever done on my channel. Hi guys, I'm Malia and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while, but today's video is all about catching up and skincare. So I'll be doing my skincare. I've just woken up as you can see. Um, and I have just washed my face to make up my morning skincare. Karna hai. So today's video will be all about doing my morning skincare and catching you guys up on what's up with my life. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with, firstly, sorry, because we are in my washroom. I have, <clears throat> I have, and this morning voice, I have my skincare right behind me. So I thought, and it's, the, again, as I said, it's the most random video I've done in a while. And I look like a mess, but I really, really was pumped to do this video today. So we're going to do this and we're going to, I'll do my skincare and I'll be just dressed cute for staying at home. Um, let's begin. So first up, I'm starting with a face mist. This is the Aqua Pump Anatomy Dry. It's the Bioma um, Balancing Face Mist. Face mist. Uh, oops, sorry. And I'm just gonna spritz it. So this is one my brand that I discovered when I came here to the UK. Oh, on that note, let's begin with the catching up. Um, so I have moved to the UK for my master's, for completing my studies. And um, it's been two weeks since I'm here and precisely five days since I have um, moved into my house um, which I'm still setting up by the way um, and uh, yeah it's been of course moving out has been a different and a very different a very different and a very new experience for me okay I think my hair looks better like this I don't know but I've done nothing to my hair by the way this is like my um, literal original texture now like this is how my hair are um, <clears throat> although they're curly they're wavy but i'm so thankful that they're not frizzy at all now so i'm really really happy about that but yeah they're manageable overall so i'm happy about that um yeah i've moved out and this is the first time that i've moved out actually from my home um i've always been a very pampered kid at home i've never really stepped out a lot and um, stepped out in the sense um, in terms of like moving out I remember I was not even um, allowed sleepovers when I was at home like till date I haven't slept over a friend's house um, because I'm just not allowed sleepovers and that's how attached attached but yeah I have been to my family This is also a new seat oh my god from here itself. Um, this is again the same brand and the sun is coming out. It's almost 10 a.m. and I said I just woke up. So it's um, almost like 10 a.m. So the sun is coming out. Um, I will actually um, try to mention all the product details down in the description box because this is interrupting and I don't want to interrupt now so I always knew that I wanted to move out and I you know wanted to kind of uh, live my life and be independent and all of that so I was always and I was always certain that it will be London um, it will be UK and it will be London I was always certain about it more than certain I was it was, you can say it was my dream. And um, I literally used to romanticize every part of it. Like even something as simple as doing my dishes or bringing my groceries. Like all of this was literally a part of my dream when I dreamt of living alone, when I dreamt of an independent life. 
um all of this came with it and i was i used to romanticize and i used to literally be happy about it um it was just not fun and roses for me even the regular course and everything came out to be a a dream for me so i was um always certain however i of course never knew that when it would actually happen how would it feel right so i was never really certain as to certain kya matlab i've never done it so i was pretty much unaware as to you know how would it would actually feel when it would happen because again this was the first time um but last like two weeks ago when i actually came here um i remember the moment and i'll be very honest here the moment i sat on my seat in the airplane i was still that is the moment when it hit me and that is the moment when i cried usse pehle when everyone was crying at the airport all my friends and my family everyone i was i was not feeling it i was not crying i was happy i was cheering them up that it's okay we meet soon and everything but when i sat on that seat i realized shit <laughs> this um okay this might be i don't know the next time and i'll see my parents so i was that is when it hit me and that is when i cried and that is when um i realized i think what was happening <laughs> and uh, us time me you are it's so funny now when i tell my parents and my friends about this they laugh so much us time i was thinking mane abhi bhi chance hai you know abhi bhi you can go back to your like while crying um the emotions went up so much that i was thinking all of that but i can't myself down throughout the flight actually to the 10 and in a half hour flight and throughout the flight i didn't sleep for a minute although the night before it was an early morning flight so the night before um my friends were at my place so we didn't sleep at all but uh, i didn't sleep throughout the flight and i was just thinking um why can't i sleep and i was just crying you guys i mean i was just crying not throughout the flight but yeah for the most part of it i used to like at one point i had to literally go to the washroom because i was thinking i might be too loud um it was that bad and uh, so yeah the flight is when it actually hit me but uh, once i landed um things started getting um better it, in terms of emotions because i knew that now that i'm here it's it's just it's just a head from here you know no looking back so when i landed i was i started enjoying the small part of parts of it i remember i reminded myself how um you know I, it was always a dream for me like all of it and i was actually living it so like might as well be grateful for it i was giving myself that talk and uh, yeah i like emotionally I, and like while i was landing we haven't we were not landed yet and while we were landing um i was very happy like i was genuinely genuinely very happy and excited that finally the things that i've been dreaming of since i don't know how many years to be very honest i don't know how many of you guys do this but since i was a little kid i used to you know there's this like mere sath to tha mujhe nahi pata aap kiske sath aap logo ke sath hai nahi but there's this imaginary imaginary life that you built for yourself you know you think okay main badi ho jaungi to this is how my life would be um so mere sath wo tha i always used to imagine how my life would be when i would grow up or when i would be in my 20s and trust me us time pe to ye manifestation and wagera kuch nahi hota tha i was just imagining things but um, all of that is finally finally coming true and i'm so happy i'm so so happy that it's finally coming true um and it's finally happening so i reminded all of that to myself that okay you know you have to cheer up so of course um who likes to like 
be away from their loved ones and their family. Um, इसीलिए वो emotions तो बाहर आने ही थे और वो आ गए पूरी flight में और उसके बाद I was fine. Then comes the part of coming here. So when I moved into London, um, we were searching for a home for about three months before, but I was not able to get like a home here, you know. Um, मुझे यहाँ पे घर नहीं मिल रहा था सो आई थॉट मे बी गोइंग एंड आई हैड अ फ्यू लीड्स एंड आई थॉट मे बी वंस आई गो देर आई विल हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एज टू वेर शुड आई लुक अ प्लेस फॉर एंड हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट एंड एवरी थिंग एंड इट मे बी ईजियर वंस एम देर आई ऑलवेज थॉट दैट सो आई डिसाइड टू कम ह्योर about 15 days before my college started so my college starts tomorrow and i came here about 15 days pehle um so two weeks pehle than my college started just so that i can look for a house and i can start the moving in process and everything because everything takes time here um and settling in of course i wanted to give myself that time um and like to i wanted to give myself the time to easily like settle in you know take it in you need ki aate hi okay kal se college and you have no time to process your feelings and what you're feeling so i wanted to give myself that time so i decided to come a little early um so we came and uh, i started searching for the house and oh my god the house hunt was it was another thing only like i didn't know it's not difficult here in london to get a house until i came here i have friends who have been here for 2 months and they don't have a house abhi tak so i find i, I think i'm grateful that i got a house within 12 days but those 12 days were so mentally exhausting for me those 12 days were mentally so disturbing for me that i thought what now what if i don't get a house i'll be homeless here you know all all of that anxiety used to trip, cripple in and i used to feel that agar mujhe ghar nahi mila what will i do because it is that bad and luckily uh so they have student accommodation buildings here okay ab uh, matlab wo builders hain alag alag jinhone all over the city student accommodation buildings banaye hue hain so um unke websites pe availability always flashes in okay and unke website pe sab kuch available ho jata hai and these student accommodations are basically a steal if you're a student who's um like moving abroad uh, a student accommodation is the best way to go about because you're in a new city and student accommodation where everything is taken care of it's um and it's more friendly environment so i i was and these really get booked out booked um 6 months prior so getting a student accommodation here to bilkul bhi mere possible hi nahi tha but um somehow somehow um i don't know kahan se i i just logged on to a website uh, a student accommodation ki website and i saw that unki ek branch mein opening hai and i was like okay then i refreshed the page and unki do branches mein opening aa gayi and at that very time there was a number given there for his reservation i called at that number and i told him you know this is this is the branch name and i want to reserve a room for myself and he said ma'am this branch is sold out maine kaha maine abhi aapke website pe dekha it is available so basically that person that official who was working at the reservation desk uske system pe bhi ab tak reflect nahi hua tha that there is a reservation that's how quick i was um and luckily usi time maine refresh kiya tha and usi time aa gaya so he also refreshed his page and then he saw that okay yes there is a reservation i mean there is a booking there is an opening so he said okay you have these two options in dono branch mein se um whatever uh, suits you so i said that do i do i have like the time to look um at both of them and then make a decision he said again the same thing that i told you that um, these student accommodation get sold out very very fast so even 10 minutes from now aapko kuch nahi milega so you have to like make a decision right away so i played it little smart 
सो so, दो ऑप्शन होते हैं रेजोल्यूशन करने के लिए एक ऑनलाइन कर सकते हो थ्रू द वेबसाइट और एक कॉल करके तो मैंने कॉल पे एक ब्रांच रिजर्व करा दिया एंड मैंने ऑनलाइन दूसरा ब्रांच रिजर्व करवा दिया एंड द डे यू फिल द रिजर्वेशन फॉर्म एंड आप रिजर्व कराओ वहाँ से आपके पास थ्री डेज होते हैं तो मेक अ फाइनल डिसीजन एंड मेक द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट इंस्टॉलमेंट पेमेंट सो आई एंड दैट वेरी मोमेंट आई लेफ्ट टू सीक द फर्स्ट ब्रांच जो उसने कॉल पर बुक करी थी ऑफकोर्स मेरी बुकिंग दोनों जगह जा चुकी थी सो देर वॉज अ रूम रिजर्व इन बोथ द बिल्डिंग्स इन माई नेम एंड आई हैड आई थ्रू आउट द डे एक मैंने एक बार देखी एंड दूसरा मैंने दूसरी बार देखा उससे अनदर रीजन आई वॉन्ट टू कम ह्योर एंड लुक फॉर अ प्लेस वॉज आई वॉन्ट टू सी द लोकैलिटी आई वॉन्ट लिव इन द एरिया वेद बिल्डिंग इज एक्सेट्रा सो वेन आई केम ह्योर मैंने दोनों रिजर्व करवाया एंड देन मैं दोनों बिल्डिंग्स पे गई मैंने दोनों बिल्डिंग्स के एरियाज देखे मैंने दोनों बिल्डिंग्स की एक्सेसिबिलिटी देखी कि ट्रेन स्टेशन बस स्टेशन कितना दूर है मुझे कॉलेज जाने में कितना टाइम लग सकता है एवरी थिंग एंड देन आई मेड द कॉल एंड देन उनमें से दूसरा वाला मेरे को पसंद आया एंड दूसरे वाले के लिए मैंने बुक किया एंड देन आई मूव देन सो दिस इज बेसिकली हाउ आई लिटली गॉड अ हाउस यू जरी अगर मैं कॉल पर उसको बोलती कि दोनों मेरे रिजर्व कर दे वो नहीं करता तो आई डोंट नो वट क्लिक्ड मी एट दैट मोमेंट एंड मैंने दोनों एक इंटरनेट पे साइड बाय साइड कर दिया और एक मैंने उसको कॉल पे कर दिया सो आई थिंक यू हैव टू बी स्मार्ट इनफ टू एक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिचुएशन एंड आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल कि मुझे वो चांस भी मिला एंड मेरा दिमाग भी सेम चल गया एंड आई फाइनली गॉट हाउस आई एम सो हैप्पी बट देन कम्स द मूविंग इन प्रोसेस ऑफ कोर्स ओके um so i just changed into a sweat shirt because um it's cold here right um and yeah where was i so yeah then comes the moving in part so i i personally feel when you're moving in to a new city it gets very initial days for me were very lonely um i couldn't of course show it to my family that i'm you know i'm breaking because i've always Spoke very highly about it and how it's a dream for me and how I really want to do it. And then, us contrary, pe if I get weak, I think that's according to me. I just felt that no, I can't be weak at this moment because my family back at home still gets weak. Like it's been almost two two and a half weeks that I'm here, and unko abhi tak. वो लोग नए इस चीज को एक्सेप्ट कर पा रहे हैं दिस स्टिल क्राई समटाइम्स दिस स्टिल मिस मी आई थिंक मिसिंग तो हमेशा रहेगी बट श्योर इट गेट्स वेन आई ऑफकोर्स एवरी वन थिंग्स ये लोनली होता है सबसे सुनते भी है लोनली होता है बट जब तुम यहाँ आते हो जब तुम यहाँ सच में अकेले होते हो तब रियलाइज होता है हाउ इट एक्चुअली इज देर आर डेज वेन वेन आई वॉज इन माई एयर बी एन बी मेरे को घर नहीं मिला था एयर बी एन बी एक बैल्कनी थी उस बालकनी में बैठ के देर डेज वन आई क्राइड ऑल्सो अलोन एंड नॉट टोल्ड एनी वन जॉनल्ड एंड समझ नहीं आ रहा होता पता है क्या फीलिंग होती है तो वो इनिशियल डेज होते हैं और उस टाइम तो मे मेरे ऊपर ये भी स्ट्रेस था कि घर नहीं मिल रहा था तो आई वॉज वेरी वेरी टेंस्ड तो इनिशियल डेज वर वेरी देन आई वेन आई मूव्ड इन टू दिस हाउस देन आई रन आई इसकी अपनी अलग स्ट्रगल्स है आई एव नेवर कुकड एट होम सो कुकिंग इज वन ऑफ दैम देन आई डोंट इवन नो वॉट यूटेंसिल्स टू बाय फॉर माई किचन आई डोंट नो वॉट ऑर्गेनाइजर्स टू बाय फॉर माई रूम आई डो आई मीन समथिंग एज बेसिक एज विच डिटर्जेंट टू बाय फॉर टू लाइक वॉश माई क्लोथ सो आई आई डोंट नो हाउ इट वर्क बट एवरीथिंग वेन इट कम्स टू यू एट वंस इट्स सो ओवरवेलमिंग and i think i made the very right choice of coming 15 days in advance taki college start hone se pehle ye sare emotions main acche se feel kar liye and i've given myself time to accept all of this to feel all of this and to be used to this feeling and i'm glad that i took that decision of coming early and taking everything in slowly so yeah that is basically about it and now that i am here i realized i have a lot more like time in my hands abhi to since uh, college abhi itna start nahi hua kal induction week start hai uske baad it take time to kind of get 
in the flow of things but uh, I, when I came here I realized I'm living alone so there is a lot of time that you have to yourself so I might be like starting to be a little regular in shooting I'm not committing anything because I'm not committing anything so I can't do it anymore so when I get the time I will of course you know I love I love being in front of camera and I love just like speaking, vlogging, I love doing makeup today also we did a little skincare sesh um, so and my skin was not doing well when I came here initially but now I know what products to use um, according to the weather because it's very very dry very very dry here so yeah um, uh, hopefully if I'm able to shoot consistently then there's a lot of content coming your way um, and yeah I really hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for sticking around for this long um, I even like now that I'm not posting regularly I see the number increasing and it really really motivates me a lot and um, yeah hopefully I will see you guys soon thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye guys